What's up? Merlin is playing Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. So I got a few more missions. Just talked to Miranda. She wanted me to do, she wanted me to do something basically helping out her twin sister and then Jacob over here wanted me to basically do what that says right there. So I think if I help him out here, I will be able to change his his appearance. So Gift the greatness. So let's help Jacob out. And I have enough poly or platinum to uh, take the scars off my face. So before anything, let's do that. Which I ran in the wrong direction. Yeah, that's, that's unsurprising though. Ship enhancements, med bay. That's a lot of platinum, but whatever. Hold up, though. Did that automatically do it, or do I gotta do something special? Hold up, I'm just trying to get a look at her face. Oh, I can shoot photo mode, can I? Alright, they're still there, though. I don't know how to do this. bonus power and any palladium heavy bone weave uh, with the shepherd takes 50% less damage from melee attacks eh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about the scars just yet. I'll just figure that out some other time, I guess. Anyway, we're going to help out Jacob. Let's see what this is all about. Something about like a crash ship 10 years ago. to go for sure I don't know let's uh, see what Jack's new look looks like all right what do we got here yep keep that pistol sure 
And he only has a pistol and the shoddy as well. Okay. I don't know, I, I don't really perceive this being too long of a mission. Or if it is, you know, whatever. Make it work. Mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. I don't know. There's probably going to be Looks some like kind of stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Like something's going to happen. Reap along with us anymore. We've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand. Repeat. Toxology alert. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. It's probably Eight a trap. years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Hmm. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours. Following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback, activation was triggered remotely after 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as... Record deleted. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted in field to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. Yeah, that long? He's screwed. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gurn's back? Uh, I, I, I can't think. The leader thinks for us and, and we serve. So, so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them, so they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! There! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I let that happen on purpose. I'm renegade, so... Oh, this guy's hit pretty good. Nothing can stop 
Yeah, about to die. On it. Whoa. I've got him. Drop. That's not neural decay. They were nuts. Our father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. I wonder what our crew uh, compliment was, because uh, strip for parts. We're probably going to be killing a bunch out. of them. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. No fight from these guys. They've got the same uniform as the others who attacked us. Is this an earlier stage, or did the exile make the others violent? Don't know. But I'm getting a weird feeling about this group being all females. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face! You certainly seem to have a way with words. You heard her. I have his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic f He has a cruel face. His cruel face. All right, so yeah, there's probably somebody somewhere over here. Oh, oh of course. Weapons are forbidden. Not much of a captain if he's got to kill his crew to keep him in line. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. Please. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Think on your own time. What's in there? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. Not what I would have done, but they were in a desperate situation. How long do you stay desperate? The numbers go up from there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties, too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. It's looking like he only activated the beacon because the men have come back ready to fight. He let this happen, and now it's biting him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. Oops, okay. That one corpse is old. A warning. The others are fresher. Maybe a month. The hunters started hmm. fighting back. Careful. I 
right to blame his victims. Yeah, I gotta figure out if I'm doing something wrong here. I just feel like I'm taking more damage than what I should be taking. But then again, maybe that's normal. Come on over. Yeah, I'm definitely going to save as soon as I can. out. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've got to have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. Uh, it was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as Captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? 
Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob? My Jacob? Not who you expected, Captain. I was hoping not to have to explain this to him. Or anyone, really. You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. Can't say this wouldn't be a hell of a vacation. But you don't get to just walk away after all this time. You're damn right he doesn't. What happened here, I should vent his head. But he's not even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. I'm pretty sure we can spare the ammo. Yeah, you're right. But I'm not taking the shot. My father owned his mistakes. He was a different man. A good man. Half charged. You've seen the crazy ones. This won't stop them. It's not for them, Dad. Damn. They get as much as a glimpse, and you're restricted to decaf. Great. May as well serve it in the airlock, you hard ass. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Really? Because given the result, it feels like something you'd have your hands in. You know very little about me, Shepard. Don't presume to understand my intentions. Cerberus is ultimately about humanity. My people are valuable to me. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Was this supposed to be a favor, or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we've got work to do. Aye, right, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Let's not make a habit of it. Well. Alright, let's see if, uh... Yeah, you know, I got a new outfit for uh, Jacob. Oh, 
Oh, that was it? Okay. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna end the episode here, so please like and subscribe, and I'm gonna try to figure out off screen how to get rid of these scars. Thanks for watching.